हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कैंपस मालेगा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द इफेक्ट ऑफ आर्क रेजिस्टेंस ऑन द रीच ऑफ सिंपल एम्पेडेंस रिले दीज आर दी कंटेंट्स basics of arc resistance warrington formula meaning of under reach effect of fault resistance on the reach of simple impedance relay using rx diagram percentage under reach and conclusions now let us start with some basics most of the faults involves the arc which is resistive in nature and added as a pure resistance in series with the line impedance if flash over from phase to phase occurs then it introduces arc resistance into the fault path but no earth resistance in this case if ground fault occurs then it also introduces earth resistance which involves resistance of tower tower footing resistance etc please note that the earth resistance and the arc resistance combined together are known as fault resistance here one point should be noted in case of face to face fault the fault resistance consists of only the arc resistance and there is no earth resistance but in case of ground fault it consists of both that is arc resistance and the earth resistance the arc resistance is given by the warrington formula which is given by please refer the screen here l is the length of arc in meters in still air the meaning of still air is that the air is stationary or you can say there is no motion in the air and i is the fault current in amperes the arc length is increased by the cross winds thus the arc resistance taking into the account of wind velocity and time is given by please refer the screen here s is the conductor spacing in meters v is the wind velocity in kilometer per hour t is the time in second and i is the fault current in amperes let us revise some basic terms the reach of the relay means the maximum length of the line up to which the relay can protect under reach means sometimes relay may fail to operate even when the fault point is within its reach that is within its protected length now let us discuss the effect of arc resistance on the reach of simple impedance relay consider the transmission line ab as shown in figure let us assume that there is a source only at end a and we wish to generate a zone of protection which extends from a to b assume that the impedance relay is located at end a we know that impedance relay requires two quantities as the input that is voltage and current so voltage is taken from pt that is from the potential transformer and current is taken from the ct that is from the current transformer as we wish to extend the protection to the section ab so the reach of the distance relay is made equal to z set which is nothing but the impedance of the line that is the impedance of the section ab under normal operating condition now if there is a arcing fault occurs at point c having the arc resistance equal to capital r so impedance seen by the relay will be equal to 
Zsin is the addition of Zf and capital R, where Zf is the fault impedance of the line up to the point C, and capital R is the arc resistance. Consider the previous example on the Rx diagram. Let us recall, R is the resistance axis that is the real part of the impedance, whereas reactance axis is the imaginary part of the impedance. The characteristics of simple impedance relay is the circle on the Rx plane having the radius which is equal to Zz, which is nothing but the reach of the simple impedance relay. So, any value of Z seen less than the radius of the circle, the relay operates. Hence, the entire portion inside the circle is the operating region of the relay. That is nothing but the trip region. Similarly, at any value of Z seen greater than the radius of the circle, the relay restrains. Hence, the entire portion exterior to the circle is the non-operating region of the relay. So, this is the restraining region that is exterior to the circle. Now, let us consider previous example on this Rx diagram. Here, the Zf is the fault impedance up to the point C. At point C, the nature of the fault is the arcing fault. So, it will introduce the resistance R. Okay. So, what will be the total impedance seen by the relay, which is nothing but Z seen equal to Zf plus R. So, impedance seen by the relay lies on the boundary between trip and the restraining region. Thus, any arcing fault just beyond the point C will not be detected. Therefore, the simple impedance relay under reaches because of the arcing fault. Now, let us consider the same example, but assume that the value of arc resistance capital R is more in this case. So, let us see. When the fault occurs at point C, that is the arcing fault having the resistance equal to capital R. Please note that here we are considering the value of arc resistance is more as compared to the previous case. So, impedance seen by the relay will be equal to Z seen is the addition of Zf plus capital R, where Zf is the fault resistance of the transmission line up to the point C and capital R is the arc resistance. So, as seen from the diagram, Z seen is greater than Z set. Therefore, the relay will fail to operate, which is nothing but the relay under reaches. Please note that the fault point is within the reach, that is, the fault is occurring at point C, and this point C is within the reach, but due to the arc resistance, Z seen is more than the Z set. And thus, the relay fails to operate even though the fault point is within its reach. And this is called as under reach. So, we can say that arc resistance causes the simple impedance relay to under reach. Figure shows the characteristics of simple impedance relay on Rx plane with the fault characteristics of the line is superimposed. Let us again consider an arcing fault with a fault resistance of capital R occurs at point C. Thus, the impedance seen by the relay lies on the boundary between the trip and the restraining regions. Thus, any arcing fault just beyond the point C will not be detected. Thus, simple impedance relay under reaches because of the arcing fault and this is what we have already discussed. Now, let us see what is percentage under reach. It is the ratio of distance by which the relay under reaches to the reach setting of the relay. So, from the figure, we can write percentage under reach 
is equal to BC that is the distance by which the relay under reaches divided by AB which is nothing but the reach setting of the relay n to 100. Now these are the some conclusions. Due to the presence of arc resistance, the impedance seen by the relay is more than the actual impedance of the line up to the fault point that is Z seen equal to ZF plus capital R where capital R is the arc resistance. Thus relay fail to operate even when the fault point is within its reach that is within its protected length because Z seen is greater than Z set. Hence the symbol impedance relay under reaches because of the arcing fault. These are the some references. If you like this video then please share and subscribe. Thank you.